Hi, I'm going to show you exactly how to add fog, every steps. I just made this very simple burnt forest scene, and at the end with the fog, it will look so much better. As many have asked me to, this video is not edited, just me adding fog while explaining what I do. Find the outliner, and there should be exponential height fog here. The whole point of this video is explaining how to use it. I'll do my best. Scroll down and you can see there's a lot of settings for it. But for real, it's pretty simple and we only use like two of them. Fog density is, well, the fog density. Let's say the amount of fog you want. There isn't much of a difference right now. While 0.05 seems to be the max, you can just type something higher manually. See, much better, but still very unrealistic. Yeah, don't worry about the fog density for now. We'll get back to it later. Slowly scroll until you find volumetric fog. Turn this on, it changes everything. Much better, but still far from what I want. Let's try different fog density. And now let's move the sun, hold control plus L on your keyboard. And while still holding control, move your mouse cursor around. This kind of looks like Blade Runner. Pretty cool, but not what I want for today. Hmm, no, this is too bright. Let's see. I feel like I'm pretty close. But not exactly like this. Let's keep trying. I'm sure I'll find what I need very soon. Directional light is the sun. Let's change its settings a little. I believe the intensity is too high. In the volumetric fog settings, you can change the albedo, which is the color of the fog. Making it a little green can make it look more creepy, dystopian, or just polluted. This is, uh, no. This is starting to look great already. You can click on the reset button to go back to the default color, and then control plus Z to undo that if needed.
I'm changing the fog density again. Remember directional light? It's for the intensity of the sun. Directional light has a color too. Let's play around with that. Remember, you need to click in the scene for Control plus L to work. Looking pretty good. Let's see if I can improve the fog again. Yeah, I like it. Little bonus. Press escape on your keyboard to unselect everything, and G to hide the things you don't want to see like the fog icon and directional light icon. The fog is ready. Let me know if this video was boring or if I should make more unedited. If you did like it and want to learn more from me, you may want to subscribe. This was starting with Unreal. Thanks for watching.